Good Saturday evening, everyone. A big and a lot of news coming out of Warren today. The Warren Harding Akron St. Vincent football game that was scheduled as a week six opponent for Harding. That game has been canceled per St. Vincent's request. Uh, Harding, they're looking for a replacement for that game. But meanwhile, Warren JFK, they're playing some of their best football and arguably at the best time with playoff football less than two weeks away. The Eagles reeled in their fourth win on the road against Gilmore Academy and another outstanding performance from Cam Hollibaugh. The senior running back totaled a career high six touchdowns today. The Lancers, they made things interesting early third quarter, nodding things up at 13 apiece. But JFK, they responded with 20 unanswered points. It's the Eagles second straight victory over Gilmore Academy and they'll wrap up the regular season next Friday against Hallen and the Browns. They're getting ready to square off with Ron Rivera and the Washington football team and Baker Mayfield knows that going up against a talented defensive line that winning the battle of the trenches will be key early on. They're really good up front. Um, that's, that's the, uh, the challenge for us. Is it's, the game starts up front um, and we have to bring the intensity. They got great players. Obviously, Chase Young, high draft pick, but he's He's playing like it. he's proven why uh, they chose him so high, and then they, they got they got guys all around. It, it's not just him. So uh, you know we have to find completions, get the ball out, establish that run game. Um, you know, not let them be the game wreckers. And 21st ranked Pittsburgh hosting Louisville first quarter. How about Kenny Pickett? Going to dial up and find Jordan Anderson. He had 222 yards, three touchdowns, and Pitt got out to a 13-0 lead, but the Cardinals rallied. How about 17 unanswered points? It's Malik Cunningham to 2-2 Atwell, capping off that miraculous comeback. So 17-13, but right before half, Pickett going to find Taysir Mack, and this was probably the game-changing play. He appeared to be down, but no whistle, and he's just going to take off, take it the rest of the distance, and... Pittsburgh led 20 to 17 and add on three and hold off Louisville and get the 23 to 21. Meanwhile, Kansas State and Oklahoma playing down in Norman and their schooner sooner. And again, this is a game where Kansas State had won last year, looking to do the same thing. Second half spoiler, but Oklahoma dominating early on. It was a 35 14 contest, but here comes Kansas State 14 points later down seven. And how about Deuce Vaughn? putting up seven in the scoring column. We're tied at 35 and Blake Lynch. He had a bunch of kicks last year for this Kansas State team in this so-called rivalry game in a 50 yard field goal to put him up 38 35. They hold off Lincoln Riley and the Sooners 38 to 35 and a couple of notes Fitch there in Cleveland tonight looking to stay perfect against Benedictine and also a rivalry in Western Pennsylvania Grove City taking on Sharon. We'll see you back here at 11.